my great-grandmother's side. One is full Aboriginal from the north, Jabba Jabba country. The other one is full Aboriginal again from the Broome area, the Yarra country, which is um, just to the east of here. And, and, and we're happy to talk about who we are and how we are like that. We've grown up on Indi cowboys and Indians, and as in movies, you know, then things are hard to get out of your out of your psyche. But one thing I know, we've always had all, all my friends. We were always the Indians. So well, I'm not John Wayne. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not the white guy. I'm. I'm the Indian. You know. I mean, a lot of people think it's you know it's just down to the um, color thing, but it's not. You, you, as Aboriginal people, you got to. We got to be with. We were the Indians. I always thought I'm going to keep everything exactly the same. I know, I know what exists here. I'm going to stay quiet about it because the minute I tell someone, Christ, I don't go behind that hill there and have a look because you might see something or, you know, whatever. Well, the first place they're going to go is behind that hill to have a look. James Price Point. I, I, I got alerted to it from a friend. They stumbled across it. She saw this little thing saying there was going to be a, an LNG plant right on, our, on their property. Protesters have been arrested after a standoff with police at the James Price Point gas hub site in the Kimberley. We're still trying to keep and preserve the cultural heritage of this land because it means more to us than any dollar. It means more to us than any mineral, anything that you can rip out of this earth. Many of these protesters have been camping out here for a month now, but today is the first day the police have begun to forcibly remove them from the site. It looks like he actually chopped the snake in half. Can a snake cut in half come back? You know, to explain that place, what it means to me, what it means to a lot of other people in Broome that I know of, to, to us it's like a tree out in the middle of the desert. It's like the only bit of shade, you know, and so, so in some form that's a very sacred tree. 
If I was driving a bulldozer and I'd see that one tree out in the middle of the flat, I'd drive around it. But it seems like these developers or whatever can't, they, they have to knock that tree over. I don't know, I don't get it. Yeah, the Kimberley is, as an overall thing, is, is that tree as well in Australia. One of the last trees standing as far as I can see.